Okay. Looks like someone needs to get in the class. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So welcome to chapter two. Go ahead and make a bubble for climates and ecosystems. By the way, how did we feel yesterday about the test? Thumbs up, thumbs down, or in the middle? Show me thumbs up, thumbs down, or in the middle. How do we feel about the test? Okay, okay, some mixed reviews. So hopefully um, we'll get those back to you tomorrow during class. And let's start on chapter two. If you don't have your book with you, then um, that's okay. We will deal with it tomorrow when you're back in school, okay? All right, notes are going, your pens are going, pencils are going. So part of the reason that we're doing this today is so that you know how to get to the synchronous document in case of you having to be quarantined or anything like that. I wanna make sure that all of you know how to um, get there if needed, okay? So pencils and pens are moving because tomorrow I am going to check to make sure that you have these down. So chapter two is all about climate and ecosystems. So make a big bubble, highlight that. If you have any tabby things with you, put a tab there. That way, anytime I talk about chapter two, you can get there really fast. And then make a little bubble for section one, because as you are starting to figure out, I think, that all of the quizzes are going to be over particular sections, but then the test will be over all of it, okay? So the first thing we're going to talk about is weather. Notice the equal sign. So you should highlight it. Weather is the condition of the bottom layer of the Earth's atmosphere in one place over a short amount of time. So when you talk about weather, you're usually only talking about maybe a day, maybe a week. You notice that when you watch the news, the weather forecaster does not ask you, here's the weather for the whole month or tell you the weather for the whole month. They usually do it for a short amount of time. So it could be a week, it could be a couple of days, whatever it might be. And notice that I indented. Some of you got points off on your notebook check for not indenting. So make sure that you indent when I indent as well. Remember, any notebook check or planner check that I do, hint, 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 can be redone for full credit. So make sure that you do that. Allison, when you come to take your test tomorrow morning at 7.30, bring your notebook with you so I can do your notebook check, okay? Now, weather is based around atmosphere. Notice the equal sign, so you should highlight it. Hopefully you're saying that at home with me, so I'm not just saying. Highlight. Thank you. Highlight. Thank you. Okay, we got the point. Not everybody has to come on and say highlight, but thank you. Highlight. Okay. The atmosphere is a multi-layered band of gases, water vapor, and dust above the earth. And weather is almost always in a constant state of change. How many have noticed that about Northern Kentucky weather? We are changing all the time. Hands? Yes, for sure. It's always changing. 
And you notice that weather in one area can affect weather in another area. So last week, there were all of the, the double hurricane, or two weeks ago, there was the double hurricane down near New Orleans. Did anybody notice that we got a lot of rain when that came through? Heads? For sure. That all affects it. The next definition, which you unindent, we're going backwards a little bit, is climate. Climate is the weather pattern that is typically, I'm going to highlight that word, typically experienced over a long period of time. For example, you expect Florida to be warm typically. So if I ask you what the weather is, I'm talking about what's happening today outside. If I ask you what the climate's like, that's what overall it's like. So my favorite quote is this quote under C. Climate is what you expect, but weather is what you get. Can anybody give me an example of a time that they went on a vacation somewhere where they expected a certain climate, but then had a different kind of weather? Raise your hand if you can give me an example of a time that that happened for you. So raise your hand if you would like to share an example of a time. Okay, three people have raised their hands. Hold on, let me figure it. Jill, go ahead. One time, whenever I was on um, like a Disney cruise two years ago, we thought mm -hmm. it was always going to be sunny, but then they had like kind of a thunderstorm, so, so everyone had to stay in, inside the cabins. There you go. So you expect it to be sunny on a cruise, but then when they're with a thunderstorm. Brenna, you had your hand up also? When we went to Florida, we expected it to be really sunny every single day. But almost every day at, at like seven at night, it would rain. Yep. Florida's like that little pop up thing. James, did you have a question or? Yeah, Florida either has two climates. It's either burning hot or always raining. Yeah, it does kind of typically have that kind of climate for sure. So, how has weather affected you this week? How has weather affected you this week? Connor? I thought it was going to be sunny one day, except it was really rainy. Actually, yeah. It was last week. Yeah. Yeah, it did get rainy a couple times last week, which was good for my flowers, but not good for wanting to take walks outside, right? Anybody else have weather affect them this week? It's actually been pretty warm for this time of year. Usually we're starting to get towards the fall weather and it's been pretty warm outside. Very little rain, so I've had to water my flowers. It looks pretty sunny today. So weather affected me because I had to turn on the hose and water my flowers. What about the people in New Orleans that just had the double hurricane down there? How did the weather affect those people? Go ahead and raise your hand if you'd like to share what you think. How